I decided uh, building a very small uh, battery pack using that kind of cells and those cells I uh, 18 uh, 650 cells uh, they are lithium cells and uh, they can be found in in all the laptop batteries well this one you can find uh, in the trash and some of the old laptops are thrown away with that kind of stuff and when you open them you find that kind of cells uh, I'm not showing how to dismantle that you you can find plenty of, of those uh, tutorials on the web you have to be very careful because this is a lithium cell and it can be rather dangerous this is a Sony one uh, Fukushima made hmm. uh, I don't know if it's uh, I don't think it's radioactive it's because they used to have a factory there and what I do is I collect those cells and I, I measure uh, the, the, the the capacity so this one is a uh, 1832 um, milliamp and I've got another one 1816 uh, and 1819 so ve very similar capacity and I decided to to build a um, free uh, S battery pack so those cells are each um, 3.7 to 4.2 volts you have to f um, load them with 4.2 volts and when you put them in series i uh, say about four three three times volt 12 volt so you put them this is the plus this is the minus you see a little uh, here uh, indicates the plus so if you put them in series you get a 12 volt okay sounds easy but uh, you need to protect them because you cannot overcharge you cannot over discharge so you get what is so-called uh, protection boards so it's a board like that one or a board like that one you've got different shapes and what they do is uh, they protect uh, the, the the connections from over discharging because if you go below a certain voltage it stops if you go over a certain voltage charging it stops and also it does the balance charging when you connect you have to um, connect with um, 3 times 4.2 so 12.6 volt uh, charger which you can find on, on the net uh, and, and connect it and um, on those boards you've got an input and an output board when you can get the 12 volt output and you get the 12.6 the volt input when you want to recharge them so uh, I decided to use that for my um, little electronics I want to, to build and I want something small but uh, when you look at all the tutorials you find on the web they either they direct solder on that and uh, I made some trials but I'm not that happy with that uh, because um, going directly with the uh, iron on it it's uh, it's not my stuff um, you've got also what we call spot welder uh, but it's rather expensive about 200 euros just to uh, to make to uh, what they call spot weld is you you put a stripe on it and you you go uh, on the on, on the top and you can connect them uh, with a high voltage uh, but I don't want to buy that so what I decided in itself to be on the safe side uh, I bought that you know like a, a little uh, uh, holder for for free um, for 18 uh, 6, 560, uh, cells and I just I did a, a, a simple um, connection so going from 0 volt uh, to there and, and connecting those two together and then going there those two together going there and then I connected my little um, uh, protection board here I hope you can see let's see if we get the focus focus please don't want to focus yes and you see there's zero volt uh, 3.7 7.4 and 1.11.1 so you have to connect to each relevant voltage and you get the plus and the minus output uh, when you get the 12 volts so um, you see my zero volt is there right so I'm going to start putting the first one here so minus there to plus there right 
so I'm just checking zero volt and this one is connected to 3.7 but it's okay so the next one other direction so I'm connecting the minus to plus here here and here up up right yes it works right so I'm just checking this goes to 7.4 oh that's correct and then the next one uh, goes to yes next one this direction right so I got my batteries connected hopefully safely and I'm gonna check the voltage voltage uh, getting here 12.39 volt which is okay so now I've got a battery pack that I can connect here and a recharge here and hopefully it's uh, safe enough in order to insulate a bit more the, the, the plus side I added some um, um, isolation material with a, a, a hole in the middle just to prevent uh, the, um, shortcuts here because this is the, the dangerous part of, of those b batteries and uh, I'm, as I I'm did some wiring here uh, as you see it's not that nice I wanted to be sure that I wouldn't get false contact here so I added some insulation here insulation and then um, I decided how should I um, connect the plus and minus uh, on this side and I decided to use uh, that kind of, of, of wiring that I, I bought or already prepared so that I could uh, connect my battery pack and disconnect it if I need it from uh, my, my, uh, my constructions so I'm going to solder that part uh, to it and uh, use that on the inside uh, to connect to whatever means I'm, I'm going to, to, to use it and as this, this is a rather low umbrage uh, battery pack um, I think the, the, the sections of the wire is enough uh, once I'm, I'm connecting them then I'm going to wrap it around so, so it gets um, protected furthermore uh, maybe I'll put that on the side here uh, because then I can put it flat uh, without worrying that it can might hurt the, the little board board underneath so let's use my little helping hand to help me hold that in place and uh, so I can uh, so it's easier to to solder So, so getting my voltage fine. Good. It's not going to be perfect, but I think it will do the job. So after a bit of uh, wrapping um, here it is um, it's not the best looking pack I've seen I've seen better on the web but at least it's um, something I, I feel confident with um, I mean I didn't have to solder um, directly on the battery pack I've got some uh, isolator inside um, I think this is okay not too much uh, not not too much amps it's just for small projects I could kind of connect that here and as I say charge it with a 12.6 uh, volt input uh, I will see how to uh, how to use it in one of the projects I think I will I will um, adapt a, a little radio 
old radio to uh, to Bluetooth uh, with some uh, power of uh, uh, using that pack. And uh, when I'm done, I'll make I will make a, a reference to to the video using it. Um, so far. Um, let me tell what you think about that kind of design. Uh, if you think uh, it's a good idea to to use one of those battery holders to um, to avoid uh, soldering the, the the battery directly, and if you feel like me that it's uh, it's a safer option, just tell me. If you think it's not a good design, uh, well, tell me also again. Um, I'll be happy to to change my ways if you uh, if are, you think this is uh, this is not good. And uh, thanks for watching, and I will come back with uh, other videos using that pack. Thank you, bye-bye.